In this report, in this this meeting, is specifically about this evidence like of the of the high contamination immediately downstream of the mill site. So that's evidence that that there needs to be a track down of a possible source discharging from the mill site. Uh, that could be in fugitive water leaving the site. It could be in sediments that are eroding from near the mill site that were laid down historically. Um, that would be uh, there needs to be a track down an initial uh, survey. Uh, would be the thing to do first and then the next steps would be determined based on that information it would either be if it was ex an extensive groundwater problem uh, that's something that's technologically well within the boundaries of of, of treatment um, so that would be a technological solution a pump and treat system if it was a sediment contamination problem an erosion problem then the removal of that contaminated sediment uh, would be a potential option uh, and of course it could be a combination of all of those things, depending upon the nature and scope uh, of the issue, which which doesn't have a boundary around it right now. I think placing an immediate boundary around uh, the scope of the problem is something that would be achievable within six to 12 months. Um, that's not a solution to the problem. That's, attempt, that's placing a boundary around the problem. Uh, a solution to the problem, if it were uh, it sort of expanded to its full technological scope of a major groundwater remediation issue would be something that would be obviously a multi-year initiative and then an ongoing process of water treatment from the mill site. 